Hi, my name is Cameron Carlson with AnimeLocation.tv. I'm here at MatsuriCon 2014 with Miss Trina Nishimura. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. So, uh, a lot of fans may not know this, how did you get started in the whole world of entertainment? Um, I started in the world of entertainment when I was little. Um, I uh, worked with my community theater uh, starting at the age of nine. <laughs> um, and then I started touring with them when I was 13. And I did a bunch of acting when I was a kid. And then I went to college and I was like, no, I'm going to be a grown up. And that didn't really work out. <laughs> so, here we are now. <laughs> Sweet. Now, the big show that every fan wants to talk about is the Attack on Titan. How is it being part of that and obviously fans coming up to you going, sign this, sign that, sign this, sign that. How is it doing that? Um, it's been really fun. Uh, the response to Attack on Titan has been really awesome. Um, we were all pretty nervous and wanted to put out the best product and show uh, and piece of art that we could. And um, I feel pretty good about it. I feel like we did it. And um, I, I love I love the character of Mikasa. Yeah. I love, I mean, she's just amazing. And uh, to be able to work with Mike McFarland is always mm -hmm. great. And um, my, my my counterparts, uh, Matt Mercer is amazing in it. Yeah. Um, you know, Bryce Pappenbrook is ridiculous good, yeah. and Josh Greeley and Armin. I mean, there are no words. So uh, yeah, it's been really great, and uh, and the rest of the cast. I mean, out of control. It's yeah. just been really awesome, and I'm very lucky. Sweet. Now <laughs> another big little role you got to do was be Mizune and Soul Eater. Yes. How was it to be a witch opposite Miss Leah Clark, who was a cat, as you were a mouse? <laughs> Um, Mizune was a really fun character. She only had like one word, <laughs> so that was pretty cool. It was, yeah, it was. That was just the whole time, um, just saying chi 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 over it again. Uh, uh, but it, Leo's great, and um, our fight scene was really fun. Yeah. It that was really, really fun. Funny. I hope one day, like, she and I are at the same con and we can cosplay <laughs> as our respective uh, uh, magical people. That would be rad. <laughs> awesome. Now, another big title you got to work on, that is very unique on how it's being produced and, pro and done, is Space Dandy. It's on Toonami. It's being broadcasted. How do you feel? Uh, I feel nervous. <laughs> I was on Space Dandy. I was Mommy Tuss. Uh, and um, she's actually, she's a boob monster. So that's kind of funny. Um, I tried to explain it to my mom. She was like, is it, what, what do you say? I was like, it's just like this amoeba of boobs, like all these boobs. And she was like, that's, that's awkward. I was like, it is little, but it's pretty neat to be on Space Dandy in general. So I'm very, very happy about it. It's been great. Uh, another big franchise to work on is Evangelion. It's a huge, huge franchise. Uh, and you got to be in two movies, two of the most recent movies. How is it like working on that and knowing that there's fans from decades? I mean, you're talking 40, 50, 60, sometimes even only just 20 and 30 year olds. So what's it like to go from a 20 to a 60 year old? It's 40 years of anime fan base. Of. Yeah, um, Evangelion, uh, being part of that franchise in general has been great. Uh, I, I'm, I'm the newest, uh, I think I'm one of the newer, I'm the newer edition uh, uh, in 2.22, and then uh, I come back in 3.33, and it's been great. I mean, uh, M Mari as a character is insane and crazy, and it's really cathartic to be able to scream, like she screams. Um, there's, uh, there is a scream that uh, is in 2.22, uh, there's a curse word in it, so I won't say it, but um, that is my most epic scream to date. Uh, it was awesome. Like I, I did it twice, and um, the I I came pretty close to bursting the diaphragm in the microphone. So I'm pretty proud of that one. Yeah, That's it. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. Now, uh, you got to deal with time traveling in Steinsgate, and how is it dealing with that? Having a Hoovy and help you with Mr. J. Michael Tatum <laughs> alongside you explain how it all works. <laughs> it was. <laughs> It was really hard. We had, like, in the beginning, we had diagrams and, like, the timeline and then this timeline and how this part would go to that timeline. And it was really confusing. Uh, Colleen Clinkenbeard was uh, the director, and Steven was uh, the in sound engineer, and so they, they helped explain a lot of stuff for me. Um, it was really funny. I went to... Uh, 
I went to lunch with my brother and my two sisters and I was talking to them about it. I was like, I really don't understand what this whole thing is. And, and I was trying to like clarify. My sister was like, oh, you mean like Stephen Hawking and blah, 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 like pulls his book out. And then like my brother's like, oh yeah, well, blah, 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 blah. And then my little sister's like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And they all know exactly what they're talking about. I was like, well, thanks guys. I feel like a tool. Thank you. That was not helpful, not helpful. And they're like, oh, well, Trina is really very simple. And I was like, it's not simple, it's not simple. All right, and uh, now another role that I love you in because I sent you all shirts was Claymore. Oh. And uh, you got to be in that project along with a huge cast of great women. It's true. That was, I think, a really good project. I'm, that's the only manga, only manga I collect is Claymore. Oh, really? So what, yeah, uh, what would you say to fans who want to keep up with it? You know, I've, I've been reading it, and actually it breaks off in chapter, in, in volume 11 is where it actually breaks off and becomes the anime and the continues the manga. So your character could potentially come back later on. <laughs> well, I have two. Yes. There's Flora and Sophia. Yes. Um, and, oh, wait, one of them, yep. right? Uh, so... I recorded uh, Claymore a few years ago, so you'll have to refresh my memory, but um, I do know that it was um, it was a gaggle of gals. Yes. There were so many. You had Monica, and Clarine, you had uh, Brina, Aiden, Brina and Jamie, Jamie and Stephanie. Stephanie Young, and ooh, 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 trying to remember who plays the main villain. I can't remember Neither either. Yeah, I'm sorry. Was, no, I remember it was really good. I think that was Br no, that was Brina. Brina playing the main villain because I remember talking to Brina about it two years ago at Matsurikan mm -hmm. and about how her character goes through some really wild transformation. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I love Brina. She's one of my besties and ride or die for my. Mm, I can't say that, can I? Nope. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, about Claymore. Yes. And you had a lot of fun doing I it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, Todd uh, directed part of it and yeah. Colleen directed part of it, yes. right? Yes, they took a break yeah. in between each one. Yeah, uh, and it was fun. It was a great show. Um, anytime I get to be like a hardcore like ninja chick or like a hardcore warrior chick, like that's always really great. Awesome. Now, is there any upcoming projects you want fans to know about so they can keep up with you? There are so many upcoming projects that I want fans to know about, unfortunately. I can't tell you yet, um, but if you want to follow me on Facebook, then I yes. can release things there. Mm -hmm. um, and I, uh, I'm sad to announce that I'm going to fold, and I'm I'm going to join the tweeters, the twitters, the Twitter water, tw tw tweeting. I'm going to be a tweeter. I'm going to tweet. I'm going to tweet the tweeting world of Tweeter Town. Tweet Mc McTweeterson. <laughs> Alrighty, and that was my other question: Is how do we keep up with you? Obviously, you said you're going to start one shortly. Yeah. You have your Facebook. You have a you have a fan group, I do. which I I know who runs that. And then on top oh, of that, you know him? yes. Chris, hi, Chris Edwards. Yes. Hi. He's so nice. He's like the nicest guy ever, and super patient with me. There was a there was actually um, a contest, and I haven't sent the winner the stuff yet because I'm a jerk. Sorry about that, Richard. Uh, but I mean to. I will. I will. Uh, and Chris Edwards is amazing. He's super nice. Uh, he started the fabulous Trina Nishimura fan club. And he does stuff on it like almost daily because he's yep. so sweet. He he's, does. He updates your contract. Man, he he's like attention. the nicest guy ever. And I've never even met him in real life. Yeah, like, he's, he's, that, he's that nice of a guy. Whenever I meet him, I'm taking that guy to lunch. Like, we're going to get some lunch. We're going to eat some stuff. Maybe get a margarita or two. Like, I don't know. We'll get weird. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>